Are you vaccinated? Am I vaccinated? Yeah. I don't know if I want to disclose my vaccination. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. No, it's fine. Are you? I'm not. How do you feel about that? Uh, hasn't affected my life too much yet. I don't know. I don't, I don't plan on it. I want to see how long I can go. <laughs> I definitely have a little bit of conspiracy theorist mentality going okay, on. Okay, let me hear it. I want to give me... Let's, yeah. let's get it going. Well, speaking of podcasts, I mean, <laughs> Joe Rogan did one that's being taken off of YouTube every time someone posts a clip of it. Um, Which was? Which was with Dr. Robert Malone, who is the inventor of RNA vaccine technology. Really? Literally. Invented it. Invented. Holds nine patents on the technology. Okay. And talks about it for three hours. Oh, that's fascinating. <laughs> it's eye opening. He he knows this stuff better than anyone in the world. Yes. He did get vaccinated himself. Okay. And then still caught quote COVID right after. <laughs> it's just weird, like that. It's just weird, right? Um, he's been infected twice actually himself, but he thinks that the fact that it's being pushed on children in the five, yes. especially sub eighteen, who are at literally no risk. Yeah. He's, uh, he has studies showing, you know, that um, you're six times more likely as a, as a young male boy to get mitochondritis or whatever. Myocarditis. My, yes, that. There you go. From, you know, with, with heart problems or with blood clots, um, you're more likely to be hospitalized for that, so based on real data, than you are to be hospitalized for COVID. Yeah. And it's a factor of six, according to, to several studies they did. And the fact that it's being mandated, I don't know if you saw a clip I saw on social media the other day, a nine-year-old girl in New York City was dragged out by police from a restaurant for not having a Vax card. What? Literally. Or no, it was either nine or five. You could find nine. it. Good God, I'm dude. Like, oh my gosh. Kid. So my parents, coming from a very socialist and communist background, they're they scared. They want none of it? They're, they want absolutely none of it. They're, they, when they see the government, first of all, paying for everything and giving handouts yes, and incentivizing part, for right? it. They're, and, and now you look at, I don't know if you heard a couple of weeks ago, the Bulls couldn't play because half of their team was sick with COVID. Well, wow. guess what? 100% of their team is vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Every single Bulls player is. Like, what is that, right? What is that? What it's, is that? It's... People don't want to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. People don't. Mm -hmm. what, why? Why can't we be like, yo, this vaccine, yo, it has some kind of help mm -hmm. in keeping like severity of COVID down. Like mm -hmm. you're probably less likely. To yeah, die. and the studies do show that it's a little less likely, little to, less die likely from, to die from or less COVID. Be, yeah, get really intense COVID. Uh huh. But it's not almost anything it's against not getting it much it's not right? doing much at all dude how do we get you know what are we at like 70 percent vaccination yep. rate yet it's in the, the worst past, <laughs> past month we get 100 million people or not 100 but like 30 million people with covid in the yeah. last month or whatever yeah it is. including my whole family besides me for some reason yeah. it was so random yeah we were at a christmas party it's the 23rd of december uh-huh two days later a girl comes down with COVID. And then over the next coming week, 15 of the 23 people get COVID. Oh my gosh. And let me guess, most of them were probably vaccinated. I think almost all of them were. Oh my. And uh, I didn't get COVID. And I think it's because I, I had COVID yeah. in January. Yeah. And I got, I got me antibodies. Man. Yeah, right? Exactly. They work. They do. They work. I think that's part of the thing that's so crazy is us making something up as mm -hmm. an imitation for something that's real is not as good. We can acknowledge that. Like if I told you, yep. hey, buddy, would you rather have a prosthetic arm or the one on your body right now? <laughs> that's the best example I've heard. What yeah. would you say? Oh, it's so obvious. It's so obvious, yeah. right? Natural, imm natural immunity just sounds better to begin <laughs> with. It's natural. You've so, you've you've lived through it. Your body knows how to identify. Mm -hmm. it. And I've heard it's also around six or seven times more effective than yes. than the vaccine immunity you get. And then I think one of the other things about the vaccine is like this huge wave we're going through right now mm -hmm. is because the vaccine efficacy 
just dies out after six months. Mm -hmm. It just starts to... Mm -hmm. And then, so theoretically, we're going to be booster four, booster yep. five, yep. booster six. Israel's booster on seven, four right now. Booster eight. Yep. Who's going to make all that money? Pfizer, Moderna, Biotech. It's the best sales strategy the, I've ever heard. Of all heard. time. Of all time. Government don't pays pay for anything. Yep. Don't pay. No startup cost. Yep. No advertising. Yep. No repercussions if anything happens. And you don't have to sell it to consumers. You give it away. You incentivize. I mean, in Chicago schools, you get as a child, you get a $100 Visa card if you get vaxxed. What? Yes. No. Children in this city, in this city, are being incentivized with a hundred dollar Visa card. That see, that's if the weird. the school's handing that's that weird. out, <laughs> first of all, run. <laughs> no. First of all, run. But second of all, what's the intention? And how much are these companies making off the government to Be able spew to it out? Yeah. And why would they not? Even if they, I don't know if it was intentional or not. Why would they not design a vaccine that? Turn, goes bad after six months so they could sell another one and another exactly, one. Exactly, bro. Because they're definitely making, I, I would guess, personally, I would guess it's in the low thousands per dose, per shot that Jesus. Pfizer is able to make on this. And they don't have to sell it to anyone. They don't have to sell it to insurance even. Do they just sell it to the government? The government's paying for it. It's not free. How can they so afford? They, they have, yeah, there's no to consumer market. It's Correct. literally just wholesale. Correct. And then the government does every bit of distribution. Yep. And everyone that's a bitch boy of the government does the rest, you know, yep. and it keeps going down. Have you down, seen down, down, down. Uh, billboards yet with like give vaccinated billboards? Yes, everyone. Who's paying for that? I called one of these billboards. Yeah. Because I was thinking about what if I do like a solar ad? I literally considered it. Bro, you're paying around three grand a month to have your billboard up. Who's paying this three grand? Who's running the website? Who's running the website? Who's who's answering the phone? Dude, it's sketchy, who's man. Pay, yeah, who's paying the guy answering the phone? Like what? what and is, you know what? I wouldn't even be mad if there wasn't talk of mandates and if there weren't mandates. Yes. So I believe if you want to get vaccinated, especially older people, it still makes sense. You know, it, it's there's you know proof that vaccines do help to some extent mm -hmm. um and i personally don't think it's much at all i've seen like charts and diagrams of like the amount of vaccinated people in hospitals and literally there was this one study came out in england in the uk and literally it was still majority vaccinated people hospitalized now you got to compare that to, to percentage of sure. population Probably if that's 75 around 75 80 percent so and it's around 60% are hospitalized after being vaccinated with COVID. So it's a little bit. It's a little bit. <laughs> but it's not a lot of it's it. It's not a lot of it. It's not you get this vaccine or you're not allowed in our business. That is the crazy. When the Chicago thing came out, I was like, what the hell? The restaurant I was at yesterday, I slid through. I lied to them. I had the, the fake, um, not vaccine oh, you're card. Done. You're done. I'm done, bro. The police are coming for you. Shoot. See, but no, see. I had the. Ouchie in your house. See, but I had like the, the negative test crap and okay. some, um, like a religious exemption. I showed them. They let me in. Mm -hmm. The lady was like, guys, yeah, we got to take this seriously. We've been checked twice already. You know what the fine is for letting someone in without a vax card? What? 10 grand to Whoa. these small businesses. And she said they've already been undercover checked twice what? for mandating it. What? So a little the mom and- just using this to make money. This little mom and, all these little mom and pop shops. I mean, it's not like these businesses are like government entities. These are normal people that have a restaurant that live on that income. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the lady forgets to check a vax man, a vaccine card, and you're getting fined ten grand as a business. Oh my god, that puts you under. That puts you business. under. A lot of these businesses would literally go out of business. How much are you making as a small business? You know? oh, Your not, profit margin's not much, bro. With all the expenses and everything, yeah. The taxes, the taxes, and the, the property taxes here. It's insane for selling a sandwich, like. Oh 10 God. grand puts you under. And so they have to take it seriously. It's a whole monopoly thing. As my parents would say, it's, it's the start of like communism type stuff. Wow. And, and your parents, they've been there, man. They've, they've lived, been, they've they, lived That was it. their childhood. Mm -hmm. They grew up in the end of the Cold War. 
Literally. Yeah, why they don't fled. Why listen to that at all? Yeah, why is anybody with those opinions immediately just blocked out? Shunned off of every, Shunned because, off. Why you is know, all media, dude? Why is because all... Because they the... make so much money by mm-hmm. keeping people scared. Yep. So yep. much yep. money. And Trump's gone. And Trump's gone. What are they going to do? <laughs> See, exactly. I, I mean, I think it's relatively obvious that, like, almost all media outlets... All, you know, with the, tied with the government, with Pfizer, all big tech and all uh, large big pharma or whatever. Mm-hmm. It looks like they're all on the same page with everything. Like, why is Facebook saying, like, blasting every time you open a give vaccinated? Why is Instagram all yes. the time why? have these ads? Who's paying it? Who's paying, they paying it? They're, I, I have a Are suspicion. They getting, is Pfizer so, giving? So that's my conspiracy theory is that there's more going around oh, so than we think. Because there's no other, there's, even if you look at it on a conservative and liberal angle, why are, why is all of big tech liberal? Why isn't it 50-50? Why isn't there choice in that market to where if you're big tech, if you're big social media, whatever, why is it always give accent? I'm nothing against liberals. I'm very moderate myself. Sure. But there is way too much skew to one end. It's so much. And then the other is skewed way to the other. Yep, like, yep. And now you've got two sides that are fighting, mm-hmm. and there's division, and I could rant about that forever. But I just, I one thing I just don't understand. Um, if people just don't, they don't see it. You, you didn't, you know, they brought that one vaccine, and then two, and then two, three, and, then three. and then now we're, we're looking, are we looking for four? Oh, I just saw it on the news the other day. It's like, here's the efficacy for the fourth booster, like the fourth shot, and guys, all these companies, guys, CNN, guys, everything. Guys, can we not, can we think about this one for a second? Is it working? <laughs> four? We need four. So if need three four. provides a little bit. Of... How much is four going to do? How much is five? Did you six, see the clip seven? of the CEO of Pfizer talking about the fourth booster? No. He just announced, it was on the news, it was on like CBS or something weird. He did like a 10 minute interview where he talked about like Omicron Mm -hmm. and how, you know, much these vaccines are doing. And he admitted word for word, two vaccines, so you're double vaccinated from the start, is little to no protection. He said it outright. Then he says a booster is some protection. And he says, but we have a... um, Omicron specific booster coming in March and that's going to be the best. That's literally what he said. I could show you CEO of Pfizer just admitted that. Yeah, you're vaccinated two shots and people buy it. People buy it. People buy it because it might, it's probably true. The vaccine is not doing as much as it was intended. Oh, absolutely. Maybe not. It, even not even if maybe they intended to do it, whatever it was, it's not doing uh-huh. that much. Mm hmm. And now this guy is literally, this is business 101. Mm-hmm. He's creating a demand out of his product. And the demand is based out of a scary thing yep. called fear. Yep. Oh, which yeah. Is unbridled. There's nothing, there's not much in this world oh, yeah. that can sell more than fear. Right. Once you're scared, you're giving up anything. You give up it all. So what that one guy, that doctor I was telling you about, Robert Malone, inventor of the the, Mm -hmm. uh, technology, and um, this other one he had, who's literally the most published cardiovascular doctor in the world. I forgot his name, but I listened to his podcast as well, also on Joe Rogan. And they both... McCullough, yes, yes. yes. He was on Joe Rogan too. And um, they both referred to something known as mass formation psychosis, which they are stating um, takes place after you have a period of time where, first of all, there's not nearly as much human interaction. You're locked up, you're isolated, you're quarantined. Mm -hmm. You start getting scared. There's a whole level of fear involved. And then there is a certain amount of the population, usually around a third of the population, that will do absolutely anything that Dr. Fauci tells them to do, or absolutely anything that the media tells them, who they trust, their Mm -hmm. news source, their CNN or whatever. If they say, if they say go get 15 boosters in two weeks, they'll do it. And the crazy part is the day after that podcast came out, uh, mass formation psychosis was the most Googled result 
on the internet. Because 50 million people saw that second one with Dr. with the Malone one. Uh, it's, it's a 50 good million. 50 million on a three hour podcast. Oh my God. YouTube is banning the clips. You can't find it on YouTube anymore. Um, Dr. Robert Malone, Twitter kicked him off, permanently banned his account. Guys, guys, if you don't recognize that, that it's censorship of any idea, whether if the idea is complete rat shit, right? Yeah. Which it's probably not, because these people know what they're doing. They mm-hmm. spent their entire lives dedicated to this. Mm-hmm. They invented the shit, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if someone with a lot of influence, a lot of power over you is censoring to the point where you will not receive that information, there's a problem. There's a big, big problem. This stuff is insane. Um, you Google this, like you Google his name and... Peter Malone? Uh, Robert Malone. Or Robert Malone. Uh, wow, the, this is actually different from what it was like two weeks ago. Um, Back. Put it back. <laughs> no, this is actually progress now. Two weeks ago, you Googled his name. Every single headline was anti-vax scientist, blah, 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 yada, yada, spreads misinformation. Look, this is the first one right now. How Robert Malone, vaccine scientist spreading misinformation was embraced by Joe. So he, he, made, he made it, guys. He, he made, made it. He, he made knows more about one. He right? the original one. The original one. Mm-hmm. How long? Do you remember how long? 20, 30 years ago. 20, so he made the original one. And it's the same technology same today. Same technology. That's the reason why it rolled out in nine months. And mm-hmm. he's saying that, you know, it doesn't matter that it rolled out in nine months because it was already being made. He, he did it. And what was, what's his point? What's he saying? Um, he's saying that the fact that we're mandating this, especially on kids. Kids. And anything to do with mandating this is incredibly illegal, first of all. Because it's not approved. It's not entirely, even right? it's not even entirely approved. But even then, I think there's enough, I don't know, funny business going on going to on. where okay. they can approve it and it's not actually safe. <laughs>